And um, Shrutika, am I supposed to do my presentation now or are you going to show the videos first? So I think um, uh, we would start with one short uh, video so that, you know, you could get to know how, you know, what are the experiences so that we could, you know, run it for say 30 seconds or so and then Jan could take it over. So okay, uh, just you. to give you uh, also a little, um, uh, just to also give you a little background. Uh, so we are an international university of applied sciences. We are based out of Germany and we have two campuses in Bonn and Berlin. And we, uh, so IEM is one of our official partner in Sri Lanka, and we are jointly doing programs together so that you get, you know, really good foundation here because, you know, our IEM has, you know, very good, uh, sorry, Winstone has very good, uh, you know, base here. So that's the reason we are, we are, we are going to, uh, we are going to work together so that you get this interesting experience of, you know, studying in Sri Lanka and then coming to Germany. So let me read this video. Are you able to hear the uh, hear the sound? Is it not yet, ma'am? No, no, mm -hmm. not really. But, right. Um. I would describe IUVH as flexible, modern, and individual. Self engagement and learning curve. Cost efficient, flexible and latest industry content when you study with them. So why did I want to do an online degree? Well, I wanted to have a bit more flexibility in my life. You can study on the go. I like to travel so I can download my videos, my podcasts, my books, and I can study anytime I want. I can literally do my exams from in a hotel room. So I did not need to step out of my job, yeah, and I could co do it completely beside of my job, um, anywhere, anytime, wherever I am. I really love the fact that IUBH has study advisors, so even though I'm doing an online degree, I don't feel like I'm on my own. I have the support of the academic advisors who answer all my questions um, that come up, whether it's about um, the courses themselves or organizational administrative stuff. And after getting a degree from a German university, it increases your chances by a lot, working in America, in Europe, in Asia. You can go anywhere with this degree. One of the reasons why I chose IUBH is because it was a lot cheaper um, compared to other online degrees, especially um, stateside. And um, by doing this program, I was not only able to move to Germany, I was also able to find a job through IUBH. So I'm very thankful for that. If somebody's interested in studying at IUBH and has some doubts, I would just recommend to do it and see how it works uh, later um, and enjoy the learning curve. Um, if I'm not mistaken, you also have one more uh, video, right, Michelle, which you would like to play? I can't, you're muted, we're, you're on mute. Yes, I have few, but I thought it would be great. If uh, could no, show because unfortunately, to, uh, due to the technical issues, we can't get it uh, played. It's either the video or the audio that's not working. Um, ah, okay, okay. Okay, okay. One second. Don't worry. Well, then I guess it's going to be my turn, is it? Yes, yes, Jan. Thanks, I would, Rutika. I would yes. Okay, thank you very much. So I'm going to share my screen. Wait just a moment. And the applicants who have joined with us, if you have time during the webinar, I have sent in a link. It's actually a form just to get a general idea on what kind of subjects that you are interested in doing for your bachelor's or your master's. So you can check the chat box and you can see a link, just click on that. And if you can, we would really appreciate if you can just quickly fill it up. It won't take um, not even a minute. So if you can do that, that would be great. 
So yes, over to you, Mr. Jan. Thank you, Michelle. Thank you very much. And thanks for having me in general. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here today. So my presentation will come in two parts. I will firstly talk about employability statistics uh, and the German labor market as such. And then secondly, I will give you um, a slight or a short overview of what the career office at the IU is ready uh, to do for you once you are on campus or even maybe if you study online. So whenever you have questions, there will be a Q&A session uh, after my presentation. So please uh, ask your questions then and I will happily answer them then. As you can see on that slide, the unemployment rate in Germany has been decreasing over time. This is pre-corona data, however. Um, it's a bit shaky to give you an exact um, figure now, but I think it's between 5.9 and 6.1% of unemployment rate currently due to the pandemic. It has increased, but as I said, before the pandemic, unemployment uh, has been decreasing over time, which is good news for you. The second figure I would like to concentrate to you to concentrate on is the 2.5% at the right hand side here. It's the unemployment rate of labor force with academic education, so pretty pretty low and well below the EU average in general. And lastly, the final uh, piece of information I would like to convey to you is that filling or bridging the gender gap and sort of uh, also bridging any minority gaps, um, minority group gaps is higher up on the political agenda in Berlin. The next slide is rather concentrates on the makeup of the German economy, apart from the from this, uh, uh, the, uh, the, the, the graph on the left hand side, which is for your own consumption. I would like to concentrate on the 73%, uh, which I mentioned on the right hand side. In Germany, the economy is largely made up of small and medium sized enterprises, so called SMEs. You've probably come across that term before. They are not the large corporates, but they're smaller uh, co uh, uh, enterprises. But 73% of these SMEs, small and medium sized enterprises, already employ international labor force. And this figure is going to increase. It's very likely that this is going to increase because the Skilled Immigration Act has been in place since March 2020, so during the pandemic it has been introduced to give the German labor market the opportunity to attract international labor force. I will come to that in a second. Firstly, let me talk again about the, the SMEs as opposed or as compared to the corporate companies. Typically, the corporate companies uh, companies are listed in a stock exchange. It's called DAX. And currently, this DAX is made of 40 publicly traded companies. They operate globally, hence the name corporates, and are fairly international in terms of labor force. But as I said before, the large proportion of the German economy is made up of small and medium-sized enterprises. So if you have an interest in working in Germany, or for a German company for that matter, then please also concentrate on the SMEs. They are typically located at the periphery of Germany or the big cities, but they operate internationally and attract German uh, international labor force as such. That brings me to another topic that I briefly touched upon before, namely the demographic challenge. As you can see on the right hand side, the total labor force in Germany is going to decrease over time, while the proportion of the older labor force is going to increase and then that means that it will drop out of the labor force pretty soon in the foreseeable future and that in turn means that there will be a high demand for young labor force from abroad in the German labor market. So that brings me to the next topic migration and mobility. Now I've been cut off, just a moment. Can you still see my screen? I, I, I th yes, okay. It means that um, you have to bear in mind that aging societies are a challenge, but that that they also that this means that they can attract or that the national economies will attract international labor force. Um, I can't see my screen now. What's it? Uh, turn it around. Um, I need to sh stop sharing my screen and then share it once again. Sorry, there was something with the um, with the uh, with the technical with the tech and there was a technical issue. Can you see the screen now? I hope you can. Yes, I'm sure you can. Good. 
Now I talk a bit more in detail about what it means for you students to be mobile and sort of be flexible in terms of migrating throughout the world to find a good job. So you are among those students who wish to land a job either in the home countries or abroad or for that matter in Germany. Practically, if you are planning to work in Germany as an international student, you may either come to Germany on a national student visa to study or study online from abroad and come on a special visa that is valid for six months only with a foreign academic degree. So what that means is that if you come to Germany to study and receive your degree or being awarded your degree afterwards, you come on a student visa and if you come with your national uh, uh, international degree from your home country, you come on a different type of visa. Whenever you have graduated from a German university or from the IU for that matter, after having spent some time in Germany, you will be eligible to apply for an 18 month, 18th month extension of your student visa to look for an appropriate position. So if you are coming to Germany to study and if you stay for at least one semester on a student visa, you are eligible to work 120 days full time or 240 days part time during the calendar year on your student visa. So you are allowed to work overall given certain restrictions, as I just mentioned. And during the semester, you are allowed to work for a maximum of 20 hours per week, per week that is part time, while during the semester break, you may work for 40 hours per week, that is full time. And as I said before, once you have graduated from IU or any other German uni, you will be eligible to apply for an 18 months extension of your student visa to look for an appropriate position. This is again a summary of the visa process. I talked about that very briefly. I would like you to know again, once again, that you are eligible to apply, apply for a job seekers visa once you have graduated from the IU uh, or any other German university for that matter. Now, the second part of my presentation will rather concentrate on what the career office can do for you. So first of all, um, I would like to concentrate on the on the language bits and pieces. We offer language courses and also we offer business uh, etiquette courses, sort of how to adapt to the rules in Germany, how to adapt to the German corporate world and how to get or to immerse in the German corporate uh, culture, really. So this is just a brief overview here. It comes in more detail. What we offer from the career office is individual support. So you can ask for an individual appointment any moment in time and as often as you wish. And that typically includes reviewing your application documents, training you for an interview session and supporting your um, overall internship or job search. Then we offer standardized workshops on key topics, as I just said, business culture, CV and cover letter writing, salary and contract negotiations. Then I offer exposure to companies. They come in the shape of the so-called career talks. These are Tuesday evenings e events um, at 6 p.m. And uh, typically alumni and alumni come along or, or corporate representatives to present either their career trajectories or to talk about a certain topic or to present vacancies to the students so that you may apply later on. And I already mentioned the German language learning that depends also on the courses that you are about to choose at the IU um, in, uh, depending on the level of German you already speak. But my general advice for you is please start learning German as early as you can because it's very crucial to land a job in German to speak at least some German. You don't need to be fluent, but some German is always better than no German at all. And that brings me to my last slide already. This is a pretty, I think, pretty impressive overview of companies and institutions um, for which alumni and alumni of the IU currently work. But I'm always stressing that this is not meant to scare you away or to give you some sort of uh, guideline towards these companies only because any career is worth pursuing. If you have in mind founding your own business, if you have in mind working for a smaller a startup, uh, or or, uh, or or another type of company that is not mentioned on this slide, then of course that's brilliant and that's perfectly all right as well. So that's been it. Thank you very much. Um, if there are any questions, I would be happy to take them now. Thank you very much. Do I need to check the chat or is it an open session where students can or prospective students can simply shout in sort of, I'm not quite sure. Yeah, if they come 
comfortable, they can um, openly speak out or if you okay. want. Yeah, students, you can. So whatever questions you have, maybe about the qualification, the minimum qualification, yes. Okay, good. Uma has, yeah. a, Uma has, a, has a question. Please speak out, Uma. It's a pleasure to meet you. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Good afternoon. Uh, good afternoon. This is Uma. Uh, I would like to know if I want to continue my uh, master's, what is the age criteria you have? Like, do you have any barrier? Uh, age okay. or? No, I don't think there's an age barrier. There, are, there might be, depending on the type of course, Rutika is going to, to explain that in, in detail, I think, uh, but there might be uh, some sort of conditions regarding what you have done before, depending on the type of course you're going to choose. So whether you need professional experience in order to do so, but there's no age limit. Shrutika, am I right? Yes, absolutely, Uma. There is no age criteria as such because Germany really um, appreciates education and, you know, we take students even from various walks of life. So if you could uh, later, if you could, you know, send an email uh, to uh, to the Winston Group and mention that, you know, what is your background, then, you know, we can certainly address, uh, you know, your to your inquiry in detail. But as such, there is none. Okay, okay thank you. Thank you. Randy had a question, I think, as well. There was a there, there was a signal that he raised or she raised her hand, his hand. Randy. Uh, guten Tag. Yes. Uh, hello. Guten Tag. Uh, guten Tag. Uh, ich bin uh, Studentin in uh, uh, Berlin. Uh, ich kann sprechen und uh, I'm Vishen Deutsch. <laughs> so Very good. I'm so Sounds happy good. to talk to you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah thank you. And um, uh, good morning to uh, uh, Jan, Mr. Jan, and uh, Shrutika and Michelle. And uh, thank you for giving me the chance to join for this uh, wonderful conversation meeting. And I have uh, two questions that I would uh, like to come uh, back to Berlin to study my bachelor degree. And uh, yes, German language is a nice, wonderful uh, language, but little bit uh, 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 difficult to study. There is a little bit uh, rules, but I am still studying that. But I want to yeah. know uh, that do I have to do the IELTS exam for do the bachelor degree for three years? And next uh, question is, uh, so madam, uh, I have a little bit low marks for mathematics and science, but I hope to do my bachelor's in information technology or business administration. Okay, maybe I can take this, uh, take these questions. Yeah. Um, yes, hi. Sure. Yeah, Hi. well, so uh, yes, we would require English language test. Uh, so either you can take IELTS or we even have now internal examination, which is called as Speaks. So you can certainly enroll with us, uh, you know, and uh, you can take up Speaks and clear that examination and you could be part of us. Secondly, when it comes to percentage, if you have minimum 50%, then we can take you. Yeah, so that is the minimum uh, criteria that we require that you need to have an overall percentage of uh, 50 in order for us to uh, enroll you. So I yeah, think that, if you have. Yeah, that's a nice answer. Thank you so much, ma'am. And I'm also living in Nugegoda. So okay. yesterday I saw this advertisement. So I'm so happy that I can come back to the German to see the uh, wonderful country. And uh, so uh, is. Uh, the bachelor degree taught in German language or uh, English medium? Is it? it I think it English will be medium. completely. The programs that we would conduct would be completely in English language. They would not be in German. But as Jan rightly mentioned, that for you to you know uh, have you know take up a job, it would be really great if you could speak the language. So you can start from now if you're very serious about coming to us or as you enroll yourself with Winston. You start studying the language so that by the time you come on campus, you would you would speak you know basic German, and by the time you graduate, it, you would have good experience with the language. So that when you make an application, it would be really great and would really reflect good on your CV. Yeah, thank you so much, ma'am. So, uh, Mr. Jagat will uh, tell me about the course fee exactly. for the three years. Exactly. 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 
All right. Okay. Thank you so much. Have a nice day. Good. Thank bye you. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Thanks for your questions. Thanks. Yeah. Any other questions? The most commonly asked question is uh, regarding scholarships. So can you just briefly explain if there are any scholarships, how um, can they apply for it? Sure, sure. Absolutely. I think I'll take this question. Uh, so if you see, uh, we have like an interesting model of studies. It is a hybrid model and we have a completely online model when students could complete their programs completely online. So uh, when we speak about online uh, pro programs, the you get like a really great scholarship of around, you know, 80 yeah, percent and which is like really good. So, for example, if, if you're doing like an MBA program and it, if it would be completely uh, done online, then it could be somewhere between 2500 to 2700 uh, euros. So this is a really, um, uh, really very good opportunity to do a program because you, as you see, the fee is so low. And then if you if you wish to do one semester online and one semester stay on campus, again, the fees are, you know, lower, like 6,000 euros, 7,000 euros compared to, you know, other universities who have similar programs for, say, 15 to 20,000 euros. So uh, certainly this will give you like one great flexibility and, you know, pricing wise also uh, it gives you a huge amount of breather. Uh, we as a university wanted to make education really pandemic proof and hence our online programs are really very, very reasonable and affordable cons considering people have lost jobs, you know, families, you know, are it, it, it's a dire situation. And at the same time, international education has become a privilege to students. So in such a scenario, to make it more accessible to students, we have really reduced our prices and have been giving scholarships. So this is something like a great opportunity. Even our campus education is something that is, you know, really very affordable. I'm sorry for that disturbance. Yeah, no problem. So, uh, so price-wise, you will really see our uh, our fee model is very, very exciting to students, and I'm sure you will, uh, as you soon start getting inquiries, you you know the same will be shared with the students, and students get like this flexible model when they can do the pro complete program online or come on campus. When they come on campus, uh, they get to spend 18 months, uh, you know, after the program is completed, so they can make an application for the job seeker visa. This is also something really nice. I mean, this kind of flexibility is very rare to find. And you will be then be coming to Germany, which is like the backbone of the European economy. And, uh, you know, again, one of the strongest economy in the world. So uh, as Jan has rightly mentioned that even in terms of, un, you know, unemployment rate and all, it is really, really, it really is looking nice. And also the aging population point. So this really helps you to, you know, groom yourself and, you know, give you like a, you know, like a way ahead to your future. So certainly make the most of it. We have a huge platter of programs which are available completely online and uh, as a part of hybrid model. So you can make the most of this opportunity. Uh, also, when you when you get your graduation certificate, uh, the on students who has done the program online and who, the student who has you know come done the program come on campus and done the program on campus, the certificate looks the same. So a lot of students have this question: If I do the program online, will my certificate mention that the program was done online? So no, it doesn't mention so. Also, I would like to mention about our joint accreditation with London South Bank University. So you have an opportunity to get double degree if you start the program with us. Yeah, so uh, you can make the most again of this uh, opportunity. You don't have to do any additional work. You don't even have to go to London. You have to just additionally enroll for this program and you get a double uh, degree from London South Bank University. So isn't that great? Like you get a German degree and along with that you get a UK degree. Just imagine what kind of impact it creates on your CV and later as you start working. So uh, yeah, I think, uh, yes, it's it, over, you know, in, I mean, all in all, a great opportunity lies ahead. Any more questions that we have, or Michelle, you would you like to ask us on uh, their behalf? I'm not sure if Manjula had a question since 
his mic was on. Manjula, did you have a question to ask? Uh, yes, can I ask? Hello? Yeah. yeah. Yes, uh, well. Actually, uh, the starting point is uh, sending a CV and then going on. Uh, how's the starting point for the whole of this thing? So the starting point would be, please let us know what program do you wish to do. You can get in touch with Michelle. You can get in touch with Jagat. And uh, yes, certainly CV. Along with that, we would require your transcripts as well. Uh, also English language tests, if at all you've done, uh, taken any. And we would like to know which programs you're interested in so that you can immediately start. You know, our online programs are really interesting. You get like logins uh, done uh, in a jiffy. So you do not have to wait uh, you know, so you know, for like a certain date as such to start, so you can really start sooner. Uh, I, I'm sure they are soon planning a cohort to start, so that you can start it all together. Okay, thank you very much. Thanks. Any more questions? Uh, enshulding on Miss uh, Joshi, uh, what is the age limit for the bachelor degree, please? Um, we do not have any age limit as such, uh, so that you know, so I mean, I don't see any problem. Any student, even if the student has like a, a gap of like seven years or so, or eight years or so, that person can make an application. We do not have any gap criteria as such, which are uh, you know, which are very um, concrete. So to say. Ah, okay. Okay. So no age limit. No? No age limit as such, yes. Okay. Thank you so mm -hmm. much. English <laughs> letter. Ogulanga Tianani, Academy, Shan Vadamon Hari Prashna, Hari, Tamon Hari, Ogulang. Yes, Sachini, you have a question. You may go ahead asking. Hello, good afternoon. Uh, I'm Sachini. Uh, uh, I have a four years bachelor's degree uh, that related to the uh, I have accounting a special and, and uh, my husband has a higher national diploma that is a finance higher national diploma. Uh, we both are uh, 28 years now. Uh, so how we apply for the programs uh, because uh, we want to move together. Uh, so any top up option. So uh, how we apply for the same program. That is little difficult because you, as you mentioned, that your husband has a higher national diploma. We do not, uh, yeah, right. Diploma, and I have a bachelor degree. Exactly. So you could be easily, you could easily avail for you know one of our programs, uh, Sachini. But for your husband, it looks difficult because we do not accept H and D programs. We need, uh, we need degree programs to be done in order to accept a student. Okay, okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Great. If we don't have any more queries, then um, you know what we can what you can do is certainly get in touch with Michelle, you can get in touch with Jagat for any more queries that you can have and we can certainly conduct one more session anytime you know next month or so and we can take it ahead from there uh, again a last uh, yes you can see the contact details mentioned there so please get in touch with winston overseas education and uh, they will guide you and we would be more than happy to have you here on campus or as well as if you decide to you know start your program online Wonderful. Thank you so much for your time. Uh, Michelle, would you like to? Uh, yeah, thank you so much, Mr. Jain and Ms. Shrutika for joining us for the webinar and for addressing the students.
questions, concerns. And yes, definitely we will get in contact with you with their inquiries and one communicate with us communication process and get back to you as soon as possible. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Thank you yeah, very much. Thank you. Have a good afternoon. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye bye. Have a good afternoon. Thank you so much for joining in. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much.